And now we cross over to the Nairobi National Park, where the Nissan Daring Africa Exhibition uh, 2024 is uh, currently underway, which aims at enhancing tourism activities in certain uh, parts of the country while well, the ex the expedition uh, kicked off in south africa and will uh, come to an end in egypt now let's link up with irene muchoma for an update irene Wambero, Wambero, good afternoon. We are coming to you live uh, from uh, the Nairobi National Park and we are here for the Nissan Daring Africa Expedition 2024. It's time now for Kenya after South Africa and I do understand uh, Nissan has also been uh, to other countries in Africa and uh, in Kenya we are looking at uh, this initiative, one that aims at enhancing tourism activities in uh, the country and uh, we would like to understand how will this uh, be able to improve the numbers in these destinations uh, like uh, today we are at uh, the Nairobi National Park and remember Wambiru, Kenya is known for a ideal tourist uh, activities uh, and among them is uh, mountain climbing and also overlanding and also we'll be looking at game perhaps that is the reason why Nissan uh, chose uh, the Nairobi National Park uh, for a kickoff and uh, without further ado I'm bringing on board Jack uh, Tim to tell us more about this expedition. He is the CEO Motors Africa. Welcome on set. Tell us about this expedition. We started from South Africa on the 26th of March and then we went to other places before Kenya. What is the mission in this project? Yes, well, thank you very much. So, Nissan, uh, in conjunction with Crown Motors, has put together an expedition uh, called uh, the Daring Africa Expedition. And uh, a fleet of vehicles, that's uh, uh, Navarra's and one or two other models from Nissan, uh, have crossed over seven countries. So, they started in South Africa, they passed through Mozambique, through Zambia, through Malawi, uh, uh, Tanzania, uh, Zimbabwe, and, uh, and now we are here in Kenya. So the purpose of this is to demonstrate how robust uh, the Nissan vehicles are and how adapted they are to the various different types of African terrain, uh, predominantly uh, the types of terrain that tourists might uh, be encouraged to visit. Uh, so we've been through beaches, we've been through national parks, game parks, and uh, the vehicles that we have have stood uh, strong uh, and have remained uh, uh, um, in, in perfect working order throughout this uh, um, expedition. So it proves that these vehicles are really, uh, you know, built for Africa and can be used for all sorts of purposes in, in our region in East Africa and other parts of Africa, of course. Uh, Jack, we chose uh, the Nairobi National Park uh, before we go to the Lukenya. Why do these two attraction sites? So it's very important for us to show uh, you know, Kenya with the tourism uh, 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 industry being so strong, it is important that we show that our vehicles uh, uh, are well equipped to manage these particular roads. We wouldn't want uh, any any tourist or anybody or any tourist tour operator to think, well, they cannot use this vehicle or cannot use that vehicle. So now we're able to show, well, our vehicles, our Nissan Navarra's, can be used in these parks in all the various different types of, of terrain that they will be um, exposed to. It's important to note as well that these vehicles have not had additional off-road accessories or uh, tires, for example, put onto them. These are in fact the standard models from Nissan, Nissan Navarra standard models, which will be enduring uh, these roads. So uh, it's very important for the, uh, the tourism sector to, to be aware of the fact that there is choice when it comes to game parks, there is choice uh, when it comes to vehicles used in in these national parks. Um, so that is one of our main purposes. I do understand, uh, Jack, we've been having a concern uh, when you talk of models, that those models that uh, we've been able to cut down. And uh, when you cut down, it means that we are losing jobs and the government is looking at uh, key priorities and creating more employment. Are we intending to fill this gap in one way or another? Yes, so fortunately, uh, the consolidation of models uh, for Nissan is more of a global initiative. It is not something that will have affected Kenya directly, and it will have not affected Kenyan jobs at all. In fact, there is no change in the number of jobs uh, that Nissan uh, uh, provides here in Kenya or Crown Motors provides here in Kenya. So we're very pleased to say this. So we continue to employ this, the same number of people uh, as we did before.
Thank you. Thank you. That is Jack Tema, the CEO for Motors Africa. And uh, Wambiru, we are looking forward to an experience of a kind uh, this uh, afternoon at the Nairobi National Park. And tomorrow we'll be at uh, the Lukenya all days uh, with uh, a common goal of uh, showcasing these tourist attractions and perhaps uh, to have uh, an ideal travel means uh, to these uh, destinations.